Hey, so what's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? Man? Good. So, what's happening, uh, world? I think we're we're live. Yeah, we're live. Look at that right there now. Oh, there we go. We are live. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, what's up? I got a surprise for Ward Wrestling Live. I got two of two Florida wrestling hammers that are now up in Life U University tonight. They're having the what do they call it? The green and white. The green versus black. Green versus black. So is that kind of your wrestle off? Yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't say it's a wrestle off. Preview. Like, yeah, it's a preview. preview. Just a preview of team. So we got uh, green and black tonight, uh, and we've got Asvani Lay, uh, three time state placer, yeah. and we got Randy McRae. Two-time state place or one-time champ, right? Yes. One-time champ. Out of the ridge, out of Gibbons, right? Yes, sir. So we got two studs here. Uh, he's got a brother now uh, at LHP who's uh, wrestling at 32 this weekend, right? Yeah, we'll so, so you're not going to be part of the... Uh, of the group, group. No, yeah. I'm going to go see my brother wrestle. Really That's awesome. Yeah. That's good, man. Yeah, you can see little brother do his thing, right? Yeah. And uh, you're gonna be wrestling tonight, right? Yeah, I'm gonna be wrestling. Tonight. So there's another what uh, what what weight do you? What? 125. Nice. So there's another 125 here that you're gonna wrestle off. Yeah. You want to call that person out or anything? So you can <laughs> nah, 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 no, no, no. No. Everybody's. Nice. You guys are uh, looking forward to getting some wrestling again, getting back on the mat. You guys happy to be back on the yeah. mat again? Yeah. Yeah. This pandemic has really cost us a lot, so now it's, it's been a tough summer, bad. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice to feel wrestling again. So, man, I, how long have you been up here? Uh, I came, I transferred here in 2018. So, loving it. Yes, uh, that's Omi and Cole. Yeah, yeah. Great coaching. Great Where coaching. were you originally? Uh, before 2016, when I got out of high school, I went to Blue Park College. It's another NEI in Georgia. Yes, sir. I have one of their ladies coming on later this week. And then I went to uh, Allen <laughs> University right here in South Carolina. After I went there, and then I came here in 2018. So you found a home here? Yeah. Love it here, getting your degree here, doing your thing here. Yes, sir. That's awesome. And this year's your first year, right? No, no, no. I, I came here in 2018, too. Oh, nice, because he said something about redshirting or something. Yeah, I'm redshirting this year. Okay, nice, nice. Did you have a, um, which weight, what weight are you going to dress in? Um, my freshman year here, I went 65, and then my sophomore year, I went like 57. Nice. Yeah. So um, this year, you'll wrestle some, but not in the lineup, or? Um, I'm probably I'll wrestle at the opens, like the Grand View and the Cumberland Open. Nice, some good okay. stuff. It's coming up this November too. So I'm and you to guys have some Florida friends over there, Grand View. I see them. I've had them on. Uh, who I saw, I had Elijah. Yeah, I used to wrestle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so Grand View's like a rival, right? But you guys, I see some like southeastern teams here sometimes from Florida and stuff. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think of uh, of uh, being here at Life U now, being out of that high school? Kind of mentality. What did it take to make that shift? I know you've been out of high school now a couple of years, but what's the biggest difference you would say from going from high school to college wrestling? Uh, I would say the intensity level and the like, competition level. High school has its you can you have your hammers. Yeah. But college, bro, it don't matter if you are, if you in high school a three time state champ, four time state champ, everybody's good, bro. That's the main difference. And the work ethic is way different than in high school. Sometimes you can slack, but in college now, you got to really put in that weight to be that guy. Yeah, and uh, maybe you can tell me this. They tell me that when you get to college, you think you can, uh, like the up-down drills, where you can get out from the bottom, bottom to on top. And then you get to college, and somebody gets on top of you to ride time. You're like, damn, yeah, I never got to work to get out. Yeah, bro. Because they've been working their pay plan, right? Like, that's how they get points, right? So they lock in. Uh, what has been the biggest transition for you? For me, I think it's uh, the quality of wrestlers in the room compared from high school to college. I feel like in college, especially here, there's a lot of hammers from everywhere. You got, you know, JUCO kids, D1 kids, and you know, everyone just comes together at life, and it's just a lot tougher than high school. Yeah. Now you have a little brother, John, who's down at uh, LHP now, and yeah. he was a uh, state runner-up last year with uh, one of the twins. He wrestled uh, one of the Vera twins, which I know you you guys have been friends for years, mm -hmm. um, and it was like. They like mirrored each other a little bit, you know. They were both on one knee. They were both yeah. Good. But um, when John made the transition to LHP, I had spoken a little bit, and he had mentioned, you know, how much uh, how much more ready he is now, going through the same kind of training system that um, that the twins went through. But you being his big brother and being family, and have already gone through kind of the rigmarole and the process of getting into college. What stuff have you kind of? passed on to him as far as knowledge to be ready for the next level or 
obviously he's your little brother, so I'm sure you want him to do better than you, right? Yeah, no, I definitely want him to do better. I mean, um, I told him to definitely, uh, as, as much work as he puts in, in the wrestling room, to always put it in academically, because you know, how you're gonna do right now in high school is how you're gonna do in college. So that's one of the biggest things I told him. Cool, yeah, I mean, he's a big boy, he's smart. Yeah. Um, He's doing well, and you're going to see him this weekend. Right? Oh yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> That's awesome, man. It's gonna be a huge tournament. Uh, great team, new people, and I want to see how he does. Nice. So, are you a sophomore this year? Or nah, senior? I'm, I'm a redshirt senior. Redshirt senior. Yeah, I redshirted it last year. So this is your last year. My last year. Man. So tell me, how how has your college career gone? <clears throat> uh, I'm a I'll be I'm a three time uh, national qualifier as we speak. And then this year we'll make it four if I qualify. I'm a one time All American. I took set I took second in twenty nineteen. Wow. I'm national. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, so you're doing some big things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, so two, two Florida studs here making <laughs> Florida proud. Who said who said Florida Floridians can't wrestle? Yeah. We got some studs right here in the room. Hey, so tell us a little bit about uh, the family here at Life. I know that um, you both have found a home here with Omi and Cole and uh, this community and you know, what, what makes this program so welcoming? What makes Omi and Cole uh, a coach that you would tell others come wrestle for them? Because uh, coach, coach O and Coach Cole, they have a great personality, and they don't treat you just like a wrestler. They treat you like a son, a brother, a friend. So it's more, a more of a great connection. So a connection with a wrestler is very important outside of just wrestling. You know what I'm saying? So that's played a big part in our team to where you can go to Coach O for anything. He's here, to, he's here to listen, he's, here, he's open, he's not judgmental, and he, he'll help you through whatever you need to get through. So that plays a big part in why we're so close and why the team is so good and why we trust him to make decisions for us. Yeah, and he's been through some, some right. shit in his life too, right, that he can relate. Right. Yeah. What's he meant to you? Uh, for me, I think it's, um, he's a great coach, I love him, you know, he, he pushes me to be the best person. But what I love the most about um, the coaches here is that as much as they uh, enforce us to do good in wrestling, they push us to be um, like um, the, the bigger picture, you know, like school. So like, I, I really, you know, support that. Yeah, and uh, he told he told me that you guys do very well in the classroom. He stays on top of you guys for that and makes sure. I mean, he says you're a pretty smart dude. Like, you, you can do this. I, I, I try my clothes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, right? Yes, I guess. <laughs> These two and the rest of you guys. <laughs> That's, that's awesome, man. Hey, so um, so tell us uh, tell us a little bit about what goes on tonight. Uh, have you guys been part of this before? Yeah. yeah. So tell us about the event tonight. Tell us about uh, what we what we should expect, what we should see. Definitely some good matches. Um, we have actually some probably some NAI All Americans and with um, going against some other NAI, NAI All Americans. Um, it's basically a little preview of how you know the season's going to go. Who who like could potentially be in the lineup? So it's going to be good matches. Yeah, so uh, yeah, you see a lot of uh, people from all over and different styles. So it's really just a, a juggle. There's no for sure like you're gonna start or nothing like that. Yeah, it's I know. Initially, it was gonna be out on the field, right? But with the weather yeah. condition, we're doing inside the gym. Best decision we made. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. So, so tell me something. Uh, what has wrestling meant to the both of you? If you never found the wrestling room when you were little, uh, where would you guys be now? Me honestly, I'm uh, it kind of saved me from that street life. I'm from Miami, Florida, where it's you know, it's really tough. So growing up from the 305, yeah, growing up it's kind of difficult, and it, you have to find something. What sport is it going to be that's going to guide you to a different path than than that street life and what you see every day? So wrestling has took me places that I never thought I would go. I haven't seen, I haven't traveled a lot, so it kind of saved me from being somebody who most people would expect or a drug dealer or a bomb or something like that. So it, was, it gave me a lot of opportunities. So it, and you can get, get that piece of paper to Correct. start your career, right? That's awesome. <laughs> For me, I think it's uh, shaped me to the person I am. So, you know, I, I think I'm a lot tougher because of wrestling. You know, as, as tough as I am in wrestling, I, I, I try to, you know, put it in reality. You know, like there's times where in a wrestling event you're tired, you don't want to, you don't, you know, you're kind of like slowing down, but you want to you keep the pressure going. So it's the same in like, in school, like uh, when I'm tired, you know, long day of practice, you know, long day of class, I get home, I have a lot of homework assignments to do, you know. I want to bring that same mentality, you know, from the rest of the room to the classroom. Yeah, that's awesome. So what are your uh, what are your goals beyond college? Uh, well, I, I run a sneaker business right now as we speak. Like so. the candy bar? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, I got you. you. It's a hey, sneaker. Hey, hey, hey. It's a sneaker business, not a snicker business. Yeah. <laughs> For all you out there. So uh, that's something I want to uh, continue, but I actually want to be a, a business consultant too as well. Nice. And then I want to. Uh, I'm working right now to get my realtor's license. So oh, good business. for you. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. How do how can people buy sneakers from you? Uh, I have an Instagram where you can uh, look at what you need and you can DM me and we can go from there. It's a process. Uh, nice. It's it's real it's really easy. Now, do you are you are you like a a, a sneaker collector and you sell? Kind of the the ones that we can't find, like old Jordans and things like that, or do you actually design and create your own stuff? Oh no, nah, it's more of a uh, some of the latest or some of the hype shoe that's coming out or nice. already came out, and I'm able some shoes I'm able to get, some I'm not. So if I'm able to get, it, and then we can work, and I'm able to get maybe three, four, five pair, I maybe can resell them for it. And they gotta pay you a big. Yes, I got it. So what are you looking forward to after college? Uh, after graduating with my bachelor's in business, Smart I. Guy. Hopefully, uh, go to Harvard. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, get, get, get into grad school for accounting. Nice. Get a master's in accounting, and hopefully, while I'm doing my master's in accounting, I can get uh, uh, I can be a certified public accountant. Perfect. It, it's 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 tough, but I uh, I think I'm probably gonna get my master's and then work a couple years and then follow up with the. Now I know as college kids, don't you guys typically do clinics and stuff, and you had like small kids come in in the summers and uh, sometimes I don't things like that. Yeah. Um, now and you guys, do you guys still go back and visit? Mine. Yeah, I can. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, I stay yeah. When you go into that room and, and you got the young kids there that maybe are in trouble or maybe are doing things uh, in the county they shouldn't be doing, what what do you tend to? How do you tend to mentor those kids and try to get them on the right track? Or what what advice do you give them to get on the track that you guys had to adjust to? Um, I mean, before I I, I, um, I do good like academically right now in college, my freshman year in um, high school, actually at Cardinal Gibbons, I was not the best uh, student athlete at all. I, I was not very uh, smart, but I, I had to like transition. You know, I had to uh, put wrestling first and, you know, my academics first. So when I see kids like that, I try to like reflect them on myself and be like, look, like if you put the work in, you know, you can also get good grades and be good in wrestling. Absolutely. And then, yeah, from I'm coming from South Ridge, so <laughs> we're across the street from uh, I, I, the hood, technically. <laughs> so, so I, t- I show, they see me, so they see the things that I have come to see, see the things that I did, and I tell them, like, it's possible to do. And then I always, I always give them a challenge to do better than what I did. Go D1, go D2, go do more than what I've done. That's awesome. It's possible. And, and how important has, um, has your high school coaches been influencing your lives to where uh, you're able to get into colleges and be who you are today. Do you still keep in touch with those guys? Do they still check on you? Do they still mentor you? Do they still try to keep you guys, if you guys have a bad day or a bad moment, are they still there to be like that shoulder for you? Yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, my coaches, I still speak to them. I still speak to them time to time. I still come back and visit them time to time. I call them, like, how you doing? Like, uh, but my coaches, bro, they, they, I feel like they're the best in the world, bro. <laughs> they pushed me to be the person that I've been, I am today. I saw Coach Joe, bro. They, yeah. they set me to where I'm at to get to where I'm at. He, he may have a different opinion, right? But your coach retired now, right? He gave, yeah, the, he, he gave the, uh, the wrestling shoes mm-hmm. over to the Twins. Mm-hmm. And uh, I feel like Gibbons is in really good hands with, uh, oh, yeah, definitely. with the definitely Twins. Too. I love those guys, great guys. But I know that... Uh, your time was under Petunia, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. I, t- I talk to him every, uh, maybe every other week. Cool. Yeah, uh, he tells me how the school is going. I tell him it's good. I, and he asked about wrestling. I said it's good. And he says, you should do better than me because I didn't get a college education. <laughs> <laughs> I said, all right, I will. Uh, there you go, man. And I know that um, uh, you've really been the father figure in your household. Yeah. Uh, with your brother, with your mother. And, um, you know, God bless you for that. And, and, Thank you. And I, I know a little bit of the story, but... But for you and, and John, and, and obviously your mom had a big thing to do with it, to get to where you guys are now and doing the things you're doing, that's it a lot. So, I mean, kids out there who, who might not have a parent or might have things going wrong or issues, uh, it's proof that it can be done. Yeah, my, my mom has done everything she can for me, and yeah. I, I wouldn't be where I'm at today if it wasn't for my mom. So yeah, so your life doesn't have to be perfect to, to do big things. So. Uh, and and he's got a little brother now coming up, right? I don't yeah. know. Do you have brothers coming nah, up? Nah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm it's but gonna be a stud. Yeah. Yes, stud. Yes, yeah, he's yes. Be I, I watched him at the grappler. Uh, and he and he's big, but he's uh, he's fluid too. Like he doesn't. Uh, <clears throat> even though he's so big, he's such a great athlete. You can oh, see yeah. him making the moves. And um, I mean, he was already a, a state place. I mean, a state runner up. Mm-hmm. So uh, a couple tweaks here and there. And uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't think he's gonna get beat in Florida. 
no, no, no. I mean, no. he got beat. I mean, he, he got so. beat from somebody, I think, from like Michigan or Pennsylvania. I forget mm -hmm. where the kid was from or Georgia. But I, I don't think in his weight class. It's going to be tough. Yeah. I mean, I, I wrestle. I've been wrestling. He's my little brother. He's what? I'm, I'm 20. He's yeah. 16 years old. And he's yeah. he's giving me a, a lot of work. I have to, you know, be tough with him. You get him. Yeah. You, <laughs> I could see it, man. He's a big boy, man. He's. Uh, I see him walk into the room, but you can see you can see him focus. I mean, you yeah, yeah, you can tell that uh, he's on a mission. And uh, what what year is he now? What? Uh, he's gonna be he's a junior right now. Oh, so he's got a couple years. Yeah, now. good for him. And uh, I guess we're gonna probably see him on the prep scene now. So H P, right? Yeah. So he's gonna get to see some some real hammers. That's gonna prepare him for. We're hoping D one, right? Yeah, that, that, that's the <laughs> goal. I'm sure Omi's like, no life you. No, no, tell me that no time. life you. No life you. <laughs> yeah, you're like John's not coming here. <laughs> yeah, that's what I tell him. He's like, he's like, bring him up here on a visit. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love my brother and I love you, Omi, but we got big plans for him. And, you know, I have been mentoring that young man to not do anything. So that's uh, that's good. But life you, great program, great school up here. Uh, uh, if you don't know. It's chiropractic school. They've got the top seven recruiting class in the country. That's not Division One for wrestling. Uh, they do big things. I think last year, well, last year was a COVID year, but the year before, you guys took third. I think. Yeah, that was really So um, I see the trophy. Yeah, trophy yeah. case is starting to fill up for you guys. First coming soon. We a new. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that first place trophy coming soon. What should we expect with NAI this year? Are they? Do you have to stay in your region? Are they letting you travel the country? Uh, we, our schedule is not so packed this year. Yeah, we, we only have like maybe three tournaments, but we have all dual matches. November is going to be, this upcoming November is going to be the, the most packed that there is. Yeah. And after that, it's going to be a couple of duels. Yeah. And then we get back to the big show. Nice. You guys looking forward to that? Well, sure. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that big show because we, you know what I mean? we got there two, what, two years ago to this mm -hmm. big stage and now we got to complete the mission. Yep. And then after your redshirt season, spend the summer fighting your brother a little bit. Oh, yeah. Come back <laughs> oh, your dad. Yeah. Maybe bring him up to the college room, let him feel it a little bit. That'd be, but he probably whoops the guys too. I don't know. I don't know. I, mean, <laughs> I know he's, he's really good, but I don't think he's wrestled like all the kids here. Yeah. I, I brought him up one time. He wrestled a. Uh, Marcus Abreu, uh, he did good against him, and Nolan Saxton when when he was here. Mm -hmm. That's it. A beautiful campus. Uh, this is my first time up here at Life U. They were kind enough to invite me for their black and green. Yes, I got green it right. Green versus black. Ah, I got it right. It's black <laughs> and white, green and white, green and black, black and green. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of stuff here, but uh, I'm looking forward to that tonight. I've never. Well, I've seen one college wrestling match live. I was at. I went to. Southeastern, there was like a quad, I think, with a bunch of teams in there. Mm -hmm. So I went down and watched that. But, you know, I got some questions for you guys. You guys go like chicken wings or chicken strips? I'm wings. 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 Nice. Uh, you guys prefer uh, a leg lace or a gut wrench? Probably gut wrench. I'm leg laces. I'm lazy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> that gut wrench takes a lot of. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna go I, lay, I know it's wrestling season, but when it's not, are you guys uh, ice cream or cake? Or ice cream cake? Not my ice cream. I'm ice cream. I love it. You guys go ankle pick or headlock? Headlock. Oh, oh headlock. I feel way more comfortable with that. Yeah, headlock, you know how risky that is? Oh, yeah, God, ankle pick. pick it. Yeah, well, you're, you're a little fast guy. He's. Bigger yeah. weight, you got to go with that. <laughs> yeah, what about, uh, let's see, Cinnamon Toast Crunch or Captain Crunch? Captain Crunch. Woo! Yeah. Captain Crunch is my <laughs> favorite. Yeah. 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 Man, nah, yeah. Cinnamon, Captain Crunch is for the old boys. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Captain, so funny. Crunch, Captain Crunch is very nice. Captain Crunch is for the old folks. That's for the old people, you know, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is for the more than I like it. All right, half for Cradle. Cradle all day. Mm, I feel like it depends. I go cradle. I go cradle all cradle. day. No, I don't go cradle. cradle all day. When you get to this D one, D two, you get to the college level, it's rare you turn to somebody just want to have. Ah, got it. Hear that, guys? We're on that cradle. Yeah. What about uh, waffles or pancakes? Waffles, pancakes. Ooh. You didn't see the nearby Waffle House when you came in? I'm out right down the oh, street. Oh, the grits. I don't know. I'm out right down the street. I like it. I like, I like them uh, scattered and smothered. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
Man. It's not that many Waffle Houses in Miami, though. That's probably. Oh, no, no, no. That's not. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. I think it's a Georgia thing. Yeah. It's it's got, it started, uh, Waffle House started, the, the dude um, found, uh, he went on Georgia Tech. Oh, I mean, that's, why, that's why it's that color, that uh, yellow and that black. I didn't know that. I don't know if that's true or not. Go color. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fast to talk about that. All right. Ankle, ankle drag or ankle? I mean, I'm sorry. Arm drag or arm throw? Arm drag. drag. What the hell am I talking about? Mm, <laughs> yeah, I go arm drag. <laughs> Unless I got an underhook out there. Arm throw. All right, hamburger, cheeseburger. Cheese. Ooh, bacon? Yes. Okay. Hey, look at that. See that? A homeboy black guy eats pork. <laughs> oh, yeah. First one is pork. I ate turkey bacon, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, Please, that was not racist or prejudiced. We were just having fun. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all cool, dude. It's all cool. Please. <laughs> we cool. <laughs> all right. Uh, now, if I said, do you swim? Did you see? Did you see? Um... <laughs> do I swim? Did you see? Oh, uh, what's the comedian? The tall, the tall. Kevin Hart. Oh, no. no, the tall. Kevin Hart. Tall, yeah, the tall. Yeah, the tall, yeah, the tall, tall, tall funny dude. Tall. What's his name? Um, Who? He white? No, he's black. Mm -hmm. He's gone for like 15 years and then came back. Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. He said that, he, I watched an interview with him where he said that Planet of the Apes was a racist movie. Wow. He said, because he, they said, he said the ape was eating watermelons in the in the jungle mm -hmm. and the apes were swimming. They said the apes couldn't swim. He goes, come on, you know a black man don't swim. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah. I can swim. Don't get me like if I, they throw me in the ocean, I'm gonna survive and get back to shore for sure. I'm gonna, gonna get back. But like, he's funny, right? Yeah. 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 Hey, look, we're, we're cool here. We're just talking. We're just joking. Yes. Yes. All right, man. Hey, man, this has been great. I'm glad you're going to see your brother. Yeah, I'm excited. Going to uh, have some have some fun. When are you guys? When are you leaving? I'm leaving today. Actually, around like five. Nice. Good. My mom's coming up. All right. We'll tell John I said what's up. I think he'll see this. I got to meet. They say you're a legend around here. I mean, when I heard McCray, they told me, you got to get McCray. They said, he's a Florida legend. <laughs> get McCray on. So I saw you walk in. I was like, hey, got you. And then I saw my homeboy come in. The <laughs> I, saw the his, right here. I saw his brother. I he's like, say what's up to us, Bonnie. This guy right here. It's a minute. Hey, so I'll share all this. Hey, we're going to be here at Life U uh, all day, all night. And uh, we'll be bringing you some more interviews. Uh, we do have an interview next, not from Life U, uh, the guy that, family that wrote this alphabet book, and he did the alphabets of each of the world wrestlers that we know in the USA. So oh, like, why yeah, I seen that book. I seen that yeah. book. It was like a book, and it had like all the like Kyle Snyder on the front of it. Yeah, yeah, it's like a yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like kid book. They even got a coloring book, so if you guys want a coloring picture. <laughs> all right, man. So we're at Life U. Randy McRae, Asvani Lay. He's going to 32. He's going to wrestle tonight. Yeah, yes, and uh, we'll do some more talking this evening. Peace. Yeah, man, that was fun. I'll share it with all the platforms. I usually share it.